Hi there, it's Ivan and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and you're ready for one more week of social distancing and isolation. And to make this week a little bit less boring, I will show you my first puzzle of the week. The name of today's puzzle is the Finnish Cross. It was made by Pavel's Puzzles and has difficulty level 8 out of 10 and the object is to form a cross out of 6 parts. At a first glance, this puzzle may seem like a little bit too easy and uh, maybe even boring, but the picture doesn't show you the real fun you're gonna have solving this puzzle. I've just finished pre-recording the solution of this puzzle and I would say this puzzle is amazing and I highly recommend you to buy it since the price is very cheap, about $20, maybe even less, and uh, you will have a lot of fun solving this puzzle. So if you want to buy the puzzle, link is going to be in the video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve this puzzle, keep watching the video. But keep in mind, the solution is going to be revealed at the end of the video. So let's find out how to solve the Finnish cross puzzle. It doesn't look too difficult. That's why I'm solving this puzzle on Monday. So let's see. I will start the timer and try to put all these parts into a cross. I think it's going to be pretty easy, so let's take a closer look at all parts first. We have, we have two parts that has cutouts on the side. And there is supposed to be two parts that can cover these cutouts, since all the sides of the cross are supposed to be like one line. So this fits perfect here. And this piece fits perfect right in here. Okay, that's kind of half of a cross done. And I think that I'm very close to solving it. So it looks very easy for now. Let's see what's next. I can, no, I can't put this part here. I can fit this part. Okay, that is good. I have. Oh, that is interesting. I can move this part and that's how I can fit another part inside here. Okay, let's see. Uh, maybe not like this, but I can fit this part like this. Okay, that looks almost done, the whole puzzle. And I have only one part left that I have to fit somehow inside. Let's see if it is possible to do. Right now it is not possible, but maybe I will find a way how to put it between these two parts and then squeeze it into the right spot. Okay, that goes in here. And now I have to find a way how to move all the parts into the place. Okay, and I can't put this part right now. Okay. That's maybe a little bit more difficult than I expected. But, okay, how I can fit the part inside. Now, none of the parts are moving except this one. It can go up. And this can go to the side. So I can try to fit this part inside and uh, it doesn't seem possible to do okay it, it seems that i can't fit this part to make the cross okay let's try from the very beginning again there are three parts that are supposed to go together there is no other way i can fit this uh, side of this part with this one, for example, since it's not going to be made like a cross on the picture. As you can see here, all the sides have like one straight line. There is no gaps. So it's not supposed to be like this. So these three parts goes together. One, two, and where is the third one? This one. But... There, I can put them in a different way. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can put this one. No, this one is this part. 
and this goes here yeah seems like possible to do okay there are some variations how we can fit these three parts together so what's next which part supposed to go next I can't fit this part but I can put this part in here okay this part is moving probably I have to put another part that can move to the left in this case I will be able to move both parts on the sides and fit one more part inside okay let's see what I can do I can put this part here for example on the right side okay that is interesting there are so many variations how we can put these three parts together let's see what I can do next and if I put any other part in here it's not gonna slide to the left since this part is not letting me do it okay so I can rotate this part as well yeah this puzzle is not as easy as I expect it to be probably it's gonna be very difficult to find solution and it reminds me of puzzles made by Yu Asaka probably you remember those puzzles I've solved them on my channel like four or five months ago so let's see again I can't fit oh but but on this is the only piece which I can put in such a way that there will be no sticking out parts on the side of a cross as you can see there there is no part sticking out in here so probably I can use this part so I can put this part here in this case I will be able to move it to the left and put this part I oh, know I can't put it there since there is no cutouts here that gonna fit these parts okay but what I can do I can rotate it for example like this this part goes to the left that is great I can fit this part in here that is amazing okay and they have only two parts left how I can fit them I don't know if you can see what I'm doing now okay that is interesting I can fit all parts but I don't know how to fit the last one okay let's try the last part how I can fit it I can fit it like this but the only problem is that I can't put it here and even if I can push it inside between these two parts it's not gonna fit here okay this goes in here and now I can't fit this part okay that's very interesting so I have to find the correct way how to put these three parts together and then it will be much easier to fit the rest okay let's see if I put it like this this will go in here what if I try to put this here instead okay I can't put it there but what can I do maybe I can put this part like this yeah but I can't fit anywhere this piece okay so it's mean that this part is gonna be like the main part I think so then I have to fit this piece and the next one is gonna be probably this piece and 
I'm going to put it like this so that I can slide this piece to the right and back. Okay. So, which is going to be the next one? Maybe now I have to find a way. Ah, okay, I can't put anything here. There is no piece that I can fit into this cutout. Okay, that is the wrong solution. I have to put this part on the other side, like this. Okay. Let's try this way. So which part is going to be the next one? Now I can move this part and this part I can move as well. And what's make it even more difficult that if you put the part a little bit wrong way, you can't slide it. So you have to pull it like all the way back and then you will be able to move it. Okay. So which part is going to be the next one? And this part, which has all these sticking out parts on one side, is very important, I think. Maybe it's gonna be the last one to fit, or maybe it's gonna be one... No, I can't fit it here. I can probably put it here on top, but then this cutout is not gonna be covered. But maybe it is okay. Or maybe no, okay, but I have to fit something here first. So probably this piece will go in here. This piece will... No, now I can't fit this piece. Oh no, I can fit it here. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, but now I think that I will be not able to put this piece since... I'm not going to fit it right here. Okay. So let's change places of two parts. I will put this one in here. Yeah, that looks much better. So this goes in here. And the last piece, I have to find a way how to squeeze it between these two parts. And I don't really know if it is possible. Okay, maybe I can lift... No, I can't lift both parts up. I can lift only one part up. Yeah, that is a difficult puzzle. And how to put this piece back inside. Okay, that looks... Ah, no, it looks good, but I think that I put it the wrong way. It's supposed to be like this. Okay, let's try again. If I can put it. No, that doesn't seem like that I can put it. <gasps> wow! Okay. 12 minutes, 30 seconds, and I've been able to assemble this puzzle. I have no idea how it happened, so I have to try to take it apart slowly to find out what is the real solution of this puzzle. So let's check it out. So all the parts are not moving except this one. So this is the only part that can go up. And what's next? I can move another part and okay I can after moving this part to the left I can move only this part one step up now I can move this part a little bit at the same time I can move this part and remove this one. Oh my god so clever solution that is awesome you can spend a lot of time just juggling these parts and trying to fit them but there is a very nice and logic solution which is just amazing okay this puzzle is very nice i think it's going to be one of my favorite puzzles that i've solved for 
maybe in this this year since I solved a lot of nice puzzles in 2019 but in this th this year it's gonna be one of my favorite very nice puzzle and very clever solution that was the solution of the finish cross puzzle I didn't expect it to be so fun I thought it's gonna take me just a couple of minutes to put all six parts in a random way to form a cross but I was so wrong I had a lot of fun solving the puzzle and at the end the solution was logical let me know in a comment what do you think about this puzzle. Is it boring or fun? And I think that I'm gonna solve a couple of other puzzles made by Pavel's puzzles. So if you ever solved any puzzles made by Pavel's puzzles, let me know in a comment. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.